What's going on guys, it's Shane. We're back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Bedford, Massachusetts, owned by Bedford Charter Service. It's been a while since we played this game. I'd say a few months, but it looks like they changed their entire fleet to C2s only. I'm not 100% sure if that's true. No, I went through all of these and they're all C2s. I remember they had different buses last time, but uh, let's check this. Okay, the spares are where the other buses are. Okay. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I'm going to be driving bus 32 today. If you guys want me to drive one of their spares, let me know. Um, I don't know if this is anybody's assigned bus. This is all rank edition, so I don't know. So here's the bus. Bum, bum. Bus stops at all railroad crossings. Keep back 100 feet. Unlawful to pass when red lights are flashing. So this is based out of Massachusetts. We've done a few videos on this game, but it's been a while. No empty sign. Okay. And it started. Okay. So shall we go first you know what we'll do let's take the middle school students to the activity center that's what we're gonna do that's what we're doing okay i remember i think it was the last time we played we ran out of fuel or was that the one before that i don't know but i know there was a video that did pretty well i think it got over like ten thousand views um to go this way i know this is probably illegal but um we we were doing a trip and we had to call a substitute driver to come in because we had ran out of fuel with the kids on the bus so um we'll go this way So by now you guys have probably seen the new um, thumbnails. Uh, I've been using a different software. Um, one I actually used in the past, but I kind of stopped using it. But it looks like they got kind of an update and now they're revolving their site around uh, YouTube thumbnails now. Because last time I used their site, they weren't really... You had to go out of your way to kind of make a YouTube thumbnail on their site, but now they're kind of encouraging it and they're got, they got a bunch of new stuff. So that's the one I'll be using. So whatever the thumbnails are looking like now is probably what they'll look like uh, in the future. So. And I'll try to mix it up sometimes. Here is the, oh, these looks like maybe uh, duplexes or not duplexes. Um, I want to say townhomes, but they're not even townhomes, really. I guess we'll just call it apartments. Here's the middle school. There's the high school. Uh, wait a minute. It says do not enter. Oh. Gotta go around the back here. Okay. Got it. Got it. Now, I believe it was this state, the one where you don't turn on your reds when you're picking up and dropping off at a school. Am I wrong? I don't know. We're not going to turn on our reds uh, until we get to the activity center. I think it was this state... Massachusetts. I'm not 100% sure though. And even then, it's not even, I don't think it's a state law. I think it's more about like what your district wants from you. So we will just go ahead and open the doors to pick up. Man. It's so hard to get a thumbnail with like, oh, here we go. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This will work. 
Actually, I do want my reds out right now. There we go. Because at least while we're taking the thumbnail. There we go. That'll work. Okay. They're all loaded up. All right. Listen up. We're taking you guys to the activity center. Don't mind the beeping. I'm a bus driver. I know what to do. Come back here and you do that. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh God, please no. Okay, we're good. I tripped and fell because one of you pulled your leg out. I did it again. Okay, everybody shut up. Sit down. I don't want you hanging out the windows. So let's do this. I need to actually start when I pull up to a school, I need to turn off the bus because I'm pretty sure that's regulation. You have to turn off the bus. I'm pretty sure. Uh, because if you accidentally put it into drive while kids are loading, you are screwed. No matter if your parking brakes on. Because I know, at least at my in my district, they turn off, uh, they turn the bus off, and then they deploy the. Uh, I think I don't know. I don't. I really don't remember. So we can only go right here. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stop yapping about something I don't even know about. But no more yapping. I like C2s. I don't know. This is just the Gen X one. They haven't updated it because you can see the uh, interior is not. It's still broken. I don't know if this is one of those games where um, they, you know, update their CDL version more than their all rank. That could be a possibility. If it is, let me know down below and I'll join the group and I'll try to get, well, I'm not trying to get trained. If you, I mean, if you want more videos on the game, just free rank me, dog. Okay, just, just wait. We're going right. Trust that I'm a good driver. Activity centers over there. So we're going to drop them off and then we are going to. Is there a place we can eat? I have no idea. Is there a McDonald's in this town? I guess we could drop by the gas station. How are we on gas or fuel? Fuel, not gas. Oh boy. Oh, look at that gazebo. That's nice. Where's the activity center? Very quick trip. Okay. Not going to be able to get over there. Think so. Yep. Go straight here. What's that building over there? I don't know. Here's the activity center. Looks like another school. What do you do at an activity center? I'm assuming it's like a a very big like gymnasium probably and it's got some stuff in there maybe i don't know um but we are almost there oh it looks like we got department of transportation out on the roads today okay make a left here i guess hopefully doesn't say do not enter so Um, bum, bum, bum. I guess we'll just bus lane. Here we go. All right. Everybody off the bus. Oops. There we go. I was just talking about how I need to uh, turn off the bus, but 
I don't know. I'm too lazy to walk back there and get hit the little button. My my driver actually made the students do it. Or, or no, it was something with the door. He uh, you had to open the back door whenever you shut the bus off to make the noise go away, or something like that. I don't know. Okay, is there anywhere we can eat? I don't think we're going to go over there for a little bit and then we're going to come back here and pick them up. I can barely see. Look at all these trees. Okay. Whole lot of messages. What do we got over here? Is that a construction site back there? Playground. What is that building? Public library. Cool. Oh, look what I found. Burger King. That's where we're stopping. Okay. That's where we're stopping. Um... Hopefully we have the clearance to go to the drive-thru because, <laughs> well, I know you wouldn't normally do this, but all right, let's see what we got here. Oh crap. Let me back up a little bit. Oh, uh, we got the number one Whopper. I like the, uh, the Bacon King. I believe that's the number four. If I have, if I memorized it right, let me see. Ah, you can't see it. I think the number four is the bacon can. Okay, I want a number four with a large Coke and... Damn, look at that Halloween Whopper. Yeah, that's that's it. That's all I want. All right, cool. Are we going to be able to... Okay, good. There's no, like, overhead thing or whatever that'll clip our bus. Uh, but I am going to go to the second window because... <laughs> Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. Since 1954. All right. Well, we're going to eat this right here real quick. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. We ate it. We're good. Let's go. It's been five hours. Now we go back there and we pick them boys up, them boys and girls up. Some water over there. We should title this video, the Burger King run. Imagine. Uh, I want to, but uh, maybe I can put Activity Center Field Trip and Burger King Run. That'd be kind of cool. I don't know. We're going to take a different route back to the school. We're going to go that way. Okay. Hey everybody on how was it it was good well I can almost guarantee you guys I had a better meal than y'all usually on field trips they bring like a at least for us they usually brought unless it was like a place we were going to eat they brought they instead they just brought like a sack with um I think like chocolate chocolate milk 
uh, a sandwich. And I mean, it was better than normal school food, but it was still school food. But they made it special, apparently. <laughs> uh, you had to like bring money if you wanted to uh, kind of eat. Um, if like if they had like uh, like a subway at the field trip spot, you had to bring money to buy it. Okay. There we go. I think I hear a bus outside my. No, that's a semi truck. Oh, we got the trailer park. You know what's sad? In my city, um, there was a a trailer park that got uh. Like it no, it's no longer there. I knew some people that live there, and it kind of. If any of you guys know the uh, Angry Grandpa channel, you know how they took his trailer away, and stuff. They did that with a trailer in my city, trailer park in my city. Dude is so sad. I I knew some people that actually went there. Uh, so like when I was riding the bus during school, uh, that we you know they would pick them up. Right. That's how I knew people were living there. And um, I think when I when it was like vacation, summer vacation and, and like which was no more than like four months later, they had tore the whole place down. So I have no idea if any of the people that were living there got to like move their trailer somewhere else or if I don't know, it kind of kind of like makes me think like, where did they go, you know? Cause I know they didn't provide them anything. They don't do that. I, mean, I don't know. It's just crazy. And, and and it's it's like an open field right now. They're not doing anything there. It's 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 so. It's just like that angry grandpa situation. If you guys know what I'm talking about, let me know. R.I.P. to Charlie Green. Shout out to uh, all my people that are living in trailer parks. Some of them, uh, what do you call them? I guess you would call them like, I call them like mobile homes, but some of them, you know, they kind of look weird on the outside, but you can do some impressive things on the inside. Uh, a lot of them are bigger than, you know, if it weren't for uh, tornadoes, I think I would definitely buy one for sure and put it on some land because those things are nice. On the inside, they're big and they're nice. The only problem is where I live, we get a lot of tornadoes. And if, you know, if, you know, that thing is going to blow that thing away. So it'd be a bad investment on my part. So I'm not going to do that. But, you know, let's say I move to what's like the most non tornado state in America. I almost want to say Florida or California. I don't know. I would move there and then I'd definitely buy one for sure. So, but those things do get pretty nice on the inside, I'm telling you. This whole show where, like, how, how, like, you think you look at it from the outside, but it's like, who want to live there? And then you open the door and it's huge and they, all the furniture in there, it's nice. I would totally buy one. And they're cheap. They're so cheap. It's just basically a house that you slap together. It's really cool. But, you know, if I did have one, you know, I wouldn't need a basement. I would build a basement out of cement uh, right under it. Because <laughs> if there was a tornado, I would need to go down there. That's probably what some people do. Not the ones that you rent, but if you buy one... And you know it's tornado like prone or whatever. Uh, it's you know it's gonna you're gonna build like a basement for sure. Even then, that doesn't save your house though. We're driving back to the lot, and we gonna wrap up this video.
This this map needs a sun ray or something. There's no sun. There's no sun at all. I don't think there's a day and night cycle either. It's just like a skybox, like with default lighting, probably. I don't know. There we go. Nice, nice turn. All right, lots right up here. And we need to find 32. Right there, I see it. Okay. And there we go. And we turn it off. Hit the switch. And so that was kind of our little middle school field trip to the activity center on Bedford, Massachusetts, um, owned by Bedford Charter Service. If you guys want me to do another video on this game, let me know. I'll probably drive one of the spares next time. But uh, if you do wish to play it yourself, we'll be linked in the description down below. With that being said, if you guys like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.